Hello, hello, and happy new year! All the people of the Six Figure Systems Facebook group. I am so glad to see all of you today. I am just thrilled because actually last week I was feeling pretty under the weather. So this week you are not going to get one, but you're going to get two different strategies to help you grow your business. And what better way to start off 2024 than to learn even more about growing your business. So that is where we're at today. And today I want to talk to you about the engagement protocol that I use. Now, this is awesome because this works for you if you have a huge audience and this works for you if you do not have any audience at all like I did at the beginning. So there are two different strategies and two different ways to utilize this kind of tool, but I wanted to give you an overview because I think that every single person in here is wanting to start a business that really helps a lot of people. Like that is at the heart of, I know everyone that I've been talking to, you all want to make the world better in some way, shape or form. And I know this is gonna help you take your business to the next level this year. So one of the things that I see is that a lot of people think that they just need to generate more leads. Like it's a common thing that I hear is like, I just need a bigger audience, I need more people, and they are going to really great lengths to make that happen. Now for me, one of the things that I realized is that there are two different aspects of the engagement protocol that you wanna be utilizing at different places in your business. The first part is the generation of leads, meaning bringing in new people to work with you. And then the other part is to nurture the people you already have. I started out with a, an audience of people who were not necessarily interested in coaching. And certainly, now that I've grown my audience and things like that, nobody in my audience had like a business or things like that. All of this has come from scratch and I want to show you how I did that. So when we are talking about your audience, the first piece is we want to be really creating connections with all the people that are in your space. So for me, one of the things that I've been prioritizing for my business is making sure that I actually know the people who are in my audience and actually showing them that I care. I think you guys have heard me talk about this a ton probably, but it's like, I want you to think about your audience, whether since we are all online service providers, your audience is virtual. And I want you to think about any of the platforms that you're on, whether that be LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok, like whatever you are on, email, I want you to think about your presence online like a virtual store, okay? It is a virtual store that you are showcasing your work and allowing people to have the opportunity to opt in. Now, as a service-based business, the thing that we're getting people to do is say yes to some sort of transformation, whether uh, throughout the course of working with you. That's what we are hoping to create. So what I want you to do is I want you to get to know the people who are coming into your store. We want to get to know and we want to bring more people into the store. One of the mis like just, I wouldn't say mistake, but like something that I see a lot of people doing is they are kind of just posting and they're not really talking with people. So I want to talk to you about how to talk to people online without being weird. And Jack's got squeaky toys and I forgot to close the door. So that's going to be a part of this. <laughs> so when we're thinking about the people in your audience, I like to talk to 10 people a day. I want to talk to people who are either coming into my audience or I want to be talking to 10 new people who would be a great fit for my audience. So if you are, and I like to do it and it just takes 30 minutes whenever I'm doing it, like the way the protocol is designed. Now, all the systems that I teach are designed to be flexible. They're designed to fit with your life. And within the entire, like within a lot of December, I didn't really do a lot of this and that's okay. 
You don't have to do it perfectly. But I want you to think about the impact that talking to 10 people could create for your business. If you talk to just 10 people a day, five business days a week, what would happen from there is you would go in and you would have 2,500 conversations a year just by talking to 10 people a day, just taking 30 minutes a day. Now, let's say that your service is $2,000, right? Just math. If you just talk to 10 people a day for 30 minutes a day, you would only need 2% of those people to say yes to working with you to have a 104K business. Pretty awesome, right? So what I did when I first started my business is I just wanted to make it statistically impossible for my business to succeed. Like I was like, I wanted to make sure that I was making the processes available that I was like, just, I was going to make it work. So what I did is I created a protocol to meet more people where I would talk to 10 people a day and on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I would talk to 10 new people and on Tuesday and Thursday, I would talk to the current people in my audience. The way that I did this is if you, like the two different strategies is if you have a really large audience currently, you want to spend more of your time talking to the people that are like, I hope y'all can't hear Jackson. Um, but you want to talk to the people in your audience that are already there. So you want to talk to the people who are actually in your audience that are actually creating these relationships and signing up to work with you. That could be reaching out to your followers. That could be talking to subscribers. That could be talking with new connections, people in your Facebook group. I want you actually getting to know these people. Who is Sarah? Why did she decide to follow you? What are her goals? What are the kind of things that she's hoping to learn and do with you within your service? Get to know them, get to know what they is driving them and motivating them to spend their precious time looking at your content. The, or just following you and giving you their time and energy. The other thing that you wanna do is find new people. Think about places that you have connections with already. Maybe for me, I was like thinking about places that I would work out, so that would be core power. That was places who I, where I'd gotten my education and certification, like the life coach school. And I would then also make connections with new people and be like, hey, I'm Megan. It's so nice to talk to you. I would, um, I think that we both are in this community, whether that was like um, in Raleigh, I would be like talking to people in Raleigh. All of those things are important pieces of your relationship and learning how to build an audience is going to be something, it build and nurture an audience are the two aspects of managing leads that you want to make sure that you have a way to do throughout the course of your business. I actually am working with lots of people that have really big audiences and it's fascinating because I would think that with the larger audience size, and I'm talking like 10 times my audience size, that they would have a larger revenue than I do. And I have a, on the scale of audiences, I have a relatively small audience, but I really make it a point to communicate with my people. I like for them to get to know me. I want them to see my face. I want them to like feel that connection with me. And that is something that is called interactive marketing. That is for 2024, they've been doing studies and that is like the most popular way that all businesses are growing this year. So I would encourage you to do 10 a day. I have a spreadsheet for it that I like teach my clients in a more in depth way. And I encourage you to like start to make connections because we have human and heart centered businesses. Like we want to help the humans. I think the next level for everyone, my goal is that everyone in this group creates a community where they feel loved and cared, like not loved necessarily if you're not like that, but like a community that they like feel cared for. And when you feel cared for, when your audience knows that they, they are seen, heard and understood by you personally, that is when they actually convert to work with you. It has that trust level that's like, just showing them that you'll go the extra mile, which is, I think, the kind of business we all want to be a part of in the hope businesses we all hope to run. So I hope that was helpful. That is my first little tip for you this week. Next, 
I'm going to be talking to you about how to structure intangible things that you're selling. And I'll do that video sometime next week, this week, when I get a chance to. But I love you guys. I hope you are having a phenomenal start to your year. And I cannot wait to see you soon.